Hi team, welcome. And on this episode of the Brick GP, I wanted to have a chat with you about a new set that's coming out very, very soon in the next few weeks, actually, in Jago City Market, set number 71799, uh, which will be coming out on the 1st of June for LEGO VIP members and the 4th of June for non-VIP members. I think this is one that the LEGO community is probably very excited about, um, basing it on the success of the previous Ninjago sets, the Docks, City and City Gardens. Um, so yeah, this set will be a logical addition for those who have it. Um, really, really stunning looking set, I've got to say. Uh, so £319.99 in the UK, uh, £369.99 in dollars or euros if you're in Europe or in America. Um, sorry, don't ask me about Canadian dollars, that's making it a little bit too far. So let's have a little look at this set in a little bit more detail. Um, so as we can see, let's move my ugly face out of the way. Um, set again based on the Ninjago City, obviously, um, very much water theme based again, and this on this occasion these two separate buildings connected by a bridge uh, in the background here, as well as this sort of travelling cart uh, here. But the first thing that struck me was the vibrant colours uh, that we can see with this lovely kind of lime green on, I think it's Borg Tower, um, the lovely brown kind of classic elements down here with a really looking, good looking sort of print here on the door, um, the bright yellow of the cart, the bright red of the bridge and the purple of this bar here. Um, and with some really, really cool looking characters, we'll go into those in a little bit more detail later on. So, typical for an Ninjago uh, city box, and uh, nothing particularly interesting, although um, this has seemingly steered away from the newer Ninjago boxes with that sort of nice white um, rim on the outside. Um, yeah, sorry guys, I'm recording in the car, I just wanted to get this video recorded and get it out as soon as possible. Um, so, sorry if there's some outside noise and some thunder that's going on as well for the moment. Um, head on view. Um, have a little bit more of a look at these areas on the ground floor with these nice little uh, poles actually looking pretty sort of traditional for the element again with the lower uh, part here on the left hand side and we have a good view at these two little shops at the top I think this is a food stall and this is well let's not spoil it but let's just say there's an interesting play feature which we'll show a couple of pictures of in a minute um, so, yeah, modular, uh, as the previous kind of Lego Ninjago City sets have been, um, with some uh, changeable sort of features in there. A little bit of a better look then at the ground floor where we can see Kai's uh, blacksmith, along with uh, Zane, who I think is a detective in the newer series, and this, who I believe is one of the elemental masters. Um, but a, a bit of a better look here at the bridge, with uh, some of these interesting sort of uh, tail pieces that they use for some of the dragons um, in the L sets and this little food vendor uh, down here. We've got the closer look at the um, cabin that moves up and down with a really cool play feature as you can see here with this uh, elastic piece. Um, so no doubt that'll be fairly good to sort of wind up and down to have access to the different levels. Um, this I think is a look at potentially Borg Tower. This is serious Borg is my understanding. Uh, one of the characters from the series, um, little bakery and little bar here with uh, Nia and Lloyd with, I can't remember his name, but I think this is the brown ninja. Uh, again, really nice little features, you know, pool table or snooker table, a karaoke, um, jukebox um, and then some darts there as well. Um, yeah, just love the colours here with the teal, the purple, um, just, yeah, really fun looking Another thing that I find that LEGO have been doing more recently, which I find particularly quite nice, is the uh, diversity and, uh, well, disabilities. And this aspect, you know, this guy has a uh, wheelchair. I think one of the other characters has a hearing aid in this set. Something that LEGO have been doing a lot more recently, and I think it's really something to continue uh, with, makes it just a lot more enjoyable and a lot more diverse. Um, I think here we've got a newer member of the, the sort of Ninjago team. Um, and then we've got uh, Cole and... Um, uh, J there. Again, really nice colours with the posters, fairly similar to the uh, um, Vimeo uh, sets. Um, and then another view. So yeah, all in all, I mean, it's a big set. So this one is on two 32 by 32 base plates. Um, Lego Ninjago City Gardens was on a 32 uh, and then another half base plate as well. Um, not as tall though as Ninjago City Gardens here, so I don't think it'll sort of crowd it in any way. Um, 
My plan personally is to combine it with uh, Ninjago City Gardens, Ninjago City and the Monkey Kids set as well. Um, but all in all, I think just a really nice looking set. I'm going to go to the minifigures in a second. I'm not going to spoil, as I said, the play feature, but if we have a little look here, this is the set that I was talking about at the top. Um, yep, lovely little play feature that I think my kids will probably really <laughs> enjoy. Um, but no, a really, really good looking set. A lot of fun. Um, let's have a quick look now at some of the minifigures. 21 total minifigures in this set. Um, so 6,163 pieces, 21 minifigures. That is great. Um, LEGO really seem to like to give us lots of minifigures on these Ninjago City sets. Um, and yeah, I think they all look pretty fantastic. I mean, some are pretty you know standard from what we see in, in City sets. Thinking about kind of almost like this farmer merchant type set, this chef set. Um, but a lot of unique sets here. Um, just overall, a lot of fun. So guys, I hope you've enjoyed this preview of the upcoming uh, LEGO Ninjago City Gardens uh, City Market set. Um, I'd love it if you could leave a like or a comment. Um, if finding these videos are fun or educational or supportive, then yeah, leave a comment or even consider subscribing. Thank you very much.